G'day and welcome to Dark Soul Gaming and another FS19 map review. Yes, that's right, we're starting with some map reviews. And our first map to review is Mercury Farms by Alien Jim, which has just recently become available on the in game mod hub. So it should be available for PC, consoles, and Mac. And we are going to get in there and have a bit of a look at this map. So uh, without further ado, let's get in there and uh, have a look see. Right, so here we are, we're at the main farm, outside the farmhouse. Now, this is not normally how you would be uh, greeted when you first start up this map. Normally just down here on the ground, there'll be a, a little icon, and you'll need to come over to that. And when you actually come over here and have a look at the farmhouse, you'll see there's a whole pile of rubbish on the ground through here, and there's the, all the windows are boarded up. And you'll need to press your right mouse button, I think it is, or left mouse button, one of the two, uh, at the context menu, the F1 menu will say uh, repair house or, or something along those lines. And you'll actually repair the house and the workers will come in and magically restore the house back to a livable condition we've already done that we're not going to go back and reset it all and start again so uh that's just the way it is um but that's it all right so we are going to go through the starting equipment so we can see a utility here we're going to go through all that a little bit later as to we'll also cover off the the size of the silo storage all that sort of stuff and we'll also discuss the sell points uh, a little bit later as well as into what products we can sell where what we are going to do now is we're going to go through all the different farming locations and go through all the cell points and actually look at them at ground level. We'll then discuss a few of the other features and then we'll do an overall flyover to actually just show you uh, the context of how big the map is and where everything's co-located and all that sort of stuff. All right, so first off, this is one of the typical silos you'll find throughout the map at the different farms. It's this one here, this version is a drive through one, so it has doors on both sides which you can open up. Uh, and they're both in the open position there you'll drive through and dump off your product there and it'll go into these silos that are inside there are also light switches all throughout various buildings and they actually are for turning the lights on off so you can see one there over there on the right hand side of that uh, building there that turns on the floodlight out the front we then also have the outlet pipe on the out far side of the building or the side of the building and again there's also a light switch there for the floodlight here for the outlet pipe and that's where you'll obviously offload your crops from your silo over there, over the yonder there, we have another shed with opening garage doors. Some of the starting equipment is over there and uh, the typical shed you'll see everywhere. We also have a buy point here for feed, fertilizer, seed, all that sort of stuff. Uh, it's available here at the farm. And there's another shed there with the garage doors wide open. All right, we'll just bring out the mini map. <clears throat> so as you can see, without zooming out too far from the mini map, there are lots of little fields just around the main farm. So as you're starting off, um, you've start off with fields 10 and 11 in the farm manager mode, which is what we've started this off in. Um, and you have plenty of little fields and farms there to, or fields I should say, to uh, extend out and start working on without going too far out of the boundaries. All right, what we'll do now is we'll bring up the main map so we can see the full map and the PDA, and uh, we'll start having a look around the map from there. All right, we'll just zoom out a little bit. So there you are, that is the map. The square here is the actual playable map area and we have multiple areas to actually look at we have multiple farms so we have the main farm here we have a poultry farm up here in the north we have a little, little arable farm here which is just for, for basic farming in this little area we have our animal farm over here which has got our pigs our sheep and our cows down here we have another farm location and that is for our horses and we also have are all of our buy points scattered around the map all right so we'll uh, we'll get in and have a look at this and we'll be right back okay so what we're going to do is we're going to head on over and check out the northern side of the map first what we're going to do is we're going to start up here at windmill hill this is one of our cell, lo cell locations and it's co-located next to the poultry farm so we'll go from there to the poultry farm but we'll head up there and have a quick look so we step back here there's our dump point. This is where we come in and sell the products here at Windmill Hill. And the reason why it gets the name Windmill Hill is because of this view here with our three windmills. Okay. Lovely little view. Nice little added detail there, which is wonderful. All right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go for a bit of a run over through here. And we're going to head into the poultry farm. So the poultry farm is the Mercury poultry farm. And as we come in, you can see here we have three sheep, sorry, three <laughs> poultry pens or chicken pens, uh, standard giant placeable pens, uh, which we'll discuss a little bit further later on. 
and we have some buildings to facilitate the maintenance and use of these areas. So we have a shed over there, which has uh, lighting that we turned on and off. We have a shed very similar to what we saw in the main farm again. Garage doors open up, or the shed doors open up, lights there, all that sort of stuff. And we have a farmhouse here at the chicken farm as well. What we should do is we'll bring up the F1 menu and we'll see if we can go in here and activate the sleep function. And no. So there's no option there to activate our sleep function that we can see. Um, so we'll just have to consider that for a little bit later. Anyway, so that's our first farm. So the poultry farm, Mercury, Mercury farm, is up here in the northern context of the map. We're going to head over here to the east now. We're going to go have a look at our biogas. So here we have the biogas. So we have our biogas dump point here. Just situated there. So that's where we'll come in and dump our product for the biogas. Our digestate comes out of this pipe here from the tank. And then of course we have two nice big huge thick walls on these uh, silage clamps. Um, so these will be quite an extensive silage clamp if you get those up and running. Plenty of silage. And this is the entrance way here. Okay. So that's pretty much it for the BGA. Alright. Next we'll come down here. And we're going to check the vehicle shop grains. We're going to check the shop and we're going to check the gas station. So we'll go to the shop. So this is the forecourt of the shop here. And this is where all the vehicles will spawn. Over here we have a customization area. And we open the doors there. This is where we go into the workshop. And you actually can lift up your equipment. On the lift. And actually get some maintenance done, all that sort of stuff. But uh, that's that's a quaint little addition. We have people walking around the area, which makes it uh, feel a little bit more lively. And uh, that's all nice and dandy. Over here we have our cell point. This is the vehicle shop cell point. So you just come in here. Again, we'll go through what can be sold here a little bit later. And then we have the fuel here for the gas station. So you can buy, buy your fuel from here as well. All right. So that's it for this area. The shop the cell point and the fuel station coming over here towards the west a little bit we've got another farm i'm going to jump in here and have a bit of a look so there's our farmhouse there's our shed with our garage doors there's a buy point for fertilizer seed all that sort of stuff and there we have another silo here now this one is a little bit different to the one at the main farm this one is only a drive in you can't just drive through so you're gonna to have to reverse your trailer up and dump your products here and then again, on the outside of the barn, we have the outlet pipe so we can offload from the silos into our trailers. This is a nice little farm area and it's just situated nicely, if you have a look at the mini map, to deal with those six or seven fields that are co-located around this little farm area. Okay, next we're going to do is we're going to head on over here to our next farm area, which is over here with the animals here and is co-located with the two grass fields we did mention. And we're going to head over to the farm silo which is here. So again, it's very similar to the one we see in the main the main farm. And again, it's a drive-through version. So we can just drive through there, all that sort of good stuff. All right. Here we have the piggery. So we have the pigs will all be here. So we come through here. This is our liquid manure uh, pickup point. That'll be our manure pickup point. Come over through here. Open the doors. This will be the buy-sell point. So we can actually buy our pigs. This will be our straw dump point for straw. And then over the other side here, we have our feed and water drop off points for the troughs. Okay. Nice and cool, easily located. In here in the middle of our little farm area here, we have a silage clamp that we can use, which is great being so closely located to, near the cows. This shed over here is our sheep, well, sheep barn and pen. So again, we've got our feed troughs here and water troughs. We jump in through here. This here is our buy point. So again, if we press the R key, we can buy our sheep. And then through here and out through the doors, which are open, this will be the wool pallet store uh, spawn point. So the wool pallets will be spawned here. All right, running over here. This next building is obviously going to be our cow pen and cow barn. So again, liquid manure, manure will come through there. We have the feed and the water troughs here, out, out the front of the barn. We'll go in and jump the fence. 
And as you can see, similar to the pigs, we're going to have a straw dump point here. And then we're also going to have a buy and sell point. And I am pretty sure you'll find that you'll come in here and this will be the also the offload point for the milk. Whoops, wrong key. We'll do that one and open the door. All right, so that's the three animal pens here. You then also have a nice big shed. So there's plenty of room here for storing your equipment to manage the animals, which is grand. And then that's your main access in and out down through there. All right, so heading south now, we're gonna head on over. We're gonna check out the sweet potato and the spinnery. So we'll go to the sweet potato first. So this is our root crop sale area. So we just come in there off the main road and we can sell them through here. You can see all the pallets there for the potatoes and the sugar beets. And uh, that's our nice easy sell point. Over through here, co-located in the same area is the spinnery. So as you can tell by the, uh, the cotton bales there, we'll come over here and we'll dump off our wool and our cotton modules in here for sale. As you can see, out through the gates, we're back on the main road. There are signs everywhere as well, so you can't really get lost. So uh, Alien Jim has put some signs up telling you which way to the vehicle shop, the bunker, the garden center, the livestock market, and they're all throughout the map. So that's a lovely added attention to detail. All right, gonna work further south now. We're gonna head into the straw barn. So this is our straw barn. Now, as I understand, we actually have the three different cell points in the barn itself. We have, well, four actually. We have one there for straw, we have one for hay, and we have one for grass. So you sell them all individually there. I don't think you can actually sell any of which in the other, but anyway, we can, we can test that. Uh, and then this is our bale sell point here, okay? So they're the four sell points. And then just again, very conveniently co-located, we have the garden center here. So we have a drop-off point here where we can um, store some stuff and sell some stuff. And also there's a offload point here which is most likely going to be for uh, purchase of your seeds and all that sort of stuff. Oh, let's actually confirm that. It'll actually, no, it'll be a sell point um, for the garden center. It will be, well, I actually don't know. But anyway, we'll have to, have to see if we can work that out. But this is, the loading bay here is obviously a trigger for something. So whether it's actually also a sell point for um, palleted goods, I'm not 100% not sure on. But anyway, all right. So, uh, and then further up the road, past the um, the greenhouses there, we have the timber yard. So we'll head up there to the timber yard, or the sawmill. And there we have it. So that's our timber sale point here, where those gents are in there working on the logs. And then over here, we have our wood chip sale point as well. All right. So that's... That area done. We're going to head over here now to a couple of other cell points. We're going to go to the spa shop. So this is another cell point. So the spa shop there, just a cell point there for, I think it's milk and possibly eggs. Uh, we'll check that again very soon, as I said. Uh, the other one that's conveniently close by is the sealed milk cell point. So this is our dairy, effectively. So we'll come in here and sell our milk off in here. Uh, one thing to note, you will notice on the mini map, and we'll discover this and show it when we do our flyover, there's a big placeable area just behind here as well. All right, and as we're going through, the second last place we're going to check is the animal dealer. So the animal dealer is here. So at this point, we can actually buy and sell animals for all the pens. And we can sell, I'm assuming we'll be selling hay bales and all that here, which we'll check shortly, just to double check. All right, and the last place to check is our last farm. And this farm here is our horse farm. And here's our horse stable here. Again, uh, feed trough, water trough is there, and our buy point over here. So again, we can come in here and buy our horses. All right, now, one of the things I wanna show you in relation to this map, the all the animals, the silos, and most of the buildings are standard placeables. Um, so what you can do is when you come into, even though we've got the, the stock standard basic map, uh, if you don't want to have horses, like for instance, I certainly don't normally, um, we can go into the into the uh, purchase menu. We can go into our place, of, uh, our, sorry, into our garage. Let me get my tongue around that properly. And you'll see here we've got all the large cow pasture, the pig enclosure, the sheep, the horse. We've got the chicken coops. We've got the silos. We've got the bunker silo. We've got the vehicle sheds. And we've got the sheds, all that sort of stuff. We've got the cell points for the seed and fertilizer. Uh, so all those are available to us. 
and we can actually remove them. So for instance, I don't want a horse paddock. I don't want to turn this into just a standard arable farm. I can come in here, I can go sell, get rid of that. And lo and behold, I now no longer have horses, okay? So that is that is wonderful. So you can do the same with the chickens, for instance. So as I said previously, uh, if you, well, well, I didn't say previously, but I'm gonna tell you now, I should have said it previously. Um, one of the options you have up here, for instance, because you've got so many pens up here, it's a perfect place to take and put, if you haven't already seen, Farmer Andy's big chicken coop. So you could take out these three individual chicken pens and put in the big coop. So again, we'll go into the garage, go for the chicken coop, and then we just click on the chicken coop we want to remove. And Bob's your uncle, they're removed. And then you can come in and put in a large chicken coop. Now, the other thing I need to mention is these hedges. So the hedges can all be removed. Now what you'll do is you'll come in with your chainsaw, uh, chop this down, so effectively it's, a, it's a, acting like a tree, you'll chop that down, remove the stump, and that hedge there will be gone. So obviously if you wanted to place another unit, another placeable down here, you'll need to do that as well. Um, but they're functions that are available to you. And I think that's fantastic that you have that flexibility to do that out of the gate. Now, while I'm speaking about removing placeable items, if you start in the hard mode, so starting from scratch mode for instance, you'll have none of these buildings anywhere, none of these buildings on the farms. All those areas will just be flat placeable areas of land and you have to start literally again from scratch. So uh, for those that want that harder element of gameplay, this map will allow you to do that 100%. So that is fantastic. All right. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we'll have a quick look at the buy and sell points. So as we said, we're going to have a look at what we have available to us. Now, the silo capacity total for the farm is 1.5 million litres. So that's the capacity we have to utilise throughout our farms. And we've got all the standard crops available to us in this map for the game. Now, the garden centre, the livestock market, the vehicle shop grains and windmill hill are all our basic sell points for all our arable crops. So going through there, ending with the corn, our root crops are available to be sold at the garden centre, the livestock market, the sweet potato and the vehicle shop grains. Our cotton and wool is only available to be sold at the spinnery, which makes perfect sense. Sugarcane, if you wish to do sugarcane on the map, the same as a root crop, it is available to be sold at either the garden centre, the livestock market, the sweet potato or the vehicle shop grains shop. Eggs are sellable at the spa shop and also at the garden centre. Milk is sellable at the garden centre, the sealed milk shop, or the, the dairy as I call it, the spa shop, and also at the vehicle shop grain. So you've got a few different places to sell your milk. Wood chips, obviously up at the sawmill. Your windrow and grass and straw, all that sort of stuff. Uh, and silage is sellable at the straw barn and also at the livestock market straw. And your manure is sellable at the garden centre. Okay. So that's basically where you start at. And when you do start the map in easy mode, as you can see, you start off with about 12 to 15,000 litres, thereabouts, of most of the crops to at least get you started, including even sugarcane. Um, so that will certainly get you going with your animals to start off with. And you also start off with some uh, wood chips, some silage, uh, some grass, hay, all that sort of stuff. So you can certainly get straight into getting some animals and getting all that kickstarter, so that's fine. All right, the other thing we're going to check before we finish and have a, a bit of a tour around the top is we are going to have a look in our shop and we're going to have a look at the garage again and we're going to see exactly what equipment we start off the map with. So, we start off with a Voltra N-Series tractor, a Fiat 1300 DT tractor and a Case Puma 240 CVX. They're our starting vehicles, our starting tractors. So we have three of those available to us. We have a Rostal Smash 330 Combine and Associated Headers. We have the pickup, the 1978 pickup, which we saw at the start of the, uh, the map review. We have an Agriliner Tipper Trailer. We also have a Coon Cultivator, a 3 meter and a 3 meter Amazon Cedar. We have the old Joskin Water Tanker. We have a front loader attachment for the tractor. And we have a tra bulk transport, uh, well, a fuel transport trailer, I should say. And then obviously we have all of the buildings for the different farms. And that is basically it. All right, so that's the equipment you start with. 
So what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to head on up into the air and we'll have a bit of a flyover. We'll cover off all these areas again and sort of show how how the lay of the land is and, uh, and then go from there. So we'll be right back. Okay, so here we are. We're up in the air and we're having a look out at the whole of the map. Uh, we're looking down from the northwest section of the map and directly below us here is our forestry area which we didn't really cover but it's just north of where our cow sheep and pigs are located uh, so as you can see this is the area down through here and then that's the cow sheep and pigs there directly in the center of the screen as we're looking at it now so what we're going to do is we're going to head over to the east and then uh, we'll cover off and have a look at what we've got available and around the map so you've got plenty of forestry area there to play with as we said there's the cow sheep pigs um, over there the farm over there and then we have the windmill hill here the cell point we have the poultry farm where the poultry the where the chicken pens used to be before we just sold them and we have a few uh, fields around there coming off down here we have the BGA directly in front of us now you can see the BGA come into view and then as we turn around here heading down south we've got a little arable farm there on the little hillside surrounded by all the trees we then have our shop down here, uh, our cell point and our fuel station which is in there. Coming down over here we've got our sweet potato cell point and our spinnery for the sales of our wool, cotton uh, and our root crops. Main farm over there in the centre of the screen now and as we come across here, here's another little placeable area here with a shed uh, which is usable for these fields that are over in here. We then have the sellable barn over here, the barn where we can sell everything from the barn. We then have the garden centre. And then up here on the hill, we have the timber sales area. We have the wood mill for our wood and our sawdust. As we swing back around and head west, nice little lake there with a bit of what looks to be a water treatment plant. You can see the main farm out there to the right hand side. We're coming across, going over this little section here of these houses. And this is where the spa shop is, right at the end of these houses where we can sell our milk and our eggs. Then we've got the dairy. And as I said previously, when we're looking at the dairy, there's a nice big placeable area directly behind that. And that's where it is there, big concrete pad that you can use. And then over here, we have our horse yard, our horse farm. Again, with the horses deleted because we removed those. And then we have the rest of these fields going up through here. And we have our row crop fields here, which is what I like to call them. Now you probably, if you wanted to, you could quite easily remove all those trees and turn all those little subfields into one big field for this uh, this area. All right, so that's it. That is the tour of Mercury Farms by Alien Jim. It is available on the Mod Hub, on the Giants in-game Mod Hub, and also on the Giants website. Don't hesitate to go over and grab it. And if you like it, go and give it a star rating. And also go check out Alien Jim. I'm pretty sure he's got a forum thread for the map on the Giants forum and just let him know that you appreciate the map and the hard work he's done. Anyway, if you like this map view and you want to see us do more, then press the like button. If you didn't like it and you don't want to see any more, press the dislike button. But please let me know what you didn't like about the map, map review, and also, of course, let me know what you did like about the map review, uh, and whether you want to see us do some more in this sort of context. Anyway, as always, if you're not already a subscriber to the channel, please consider subscribing as well. And if you subscribe, or well, you're already a subscriber, please make sure you've got that notification bell icon clicked. And that way you'll be warned or told when new episodes are available, whether it be mod reviews, map reviews, let's play videos, or upcoming live streams. So on that note, no matter where you are in the world, whether it be morning, afternoon, evening, or night, take care of yourselves and your loved ones. And we shall see you again back here at Duck Solid Gaming sometime in the near future. Take care. We'll see you all later. Bye.